Oh boy, do we have a treat for you guys this morning. <laughs> Next week, the New Mexico State Fair is kicking things off. Lots of people are getting pretty excited about this. You know one thing a lot of people are looking forward to, of course, has to be all of the food contests. Here with more on the International Cuisine Contest, the Superintendent of Home Arts at the State Fair, Donna Peck. Also joining us, special guest with her special guacamole is Jane Boutel. I want to thank you ladies for joining us. And well, it's our Curry pleasure. going to be whipping up guacamole today. <laughs> yeah. She's going to try. We're yes. going to let her get her hands dirty. Okay, so Donna, tell me about this International Cuisine so Contest. Start. It is exciting. We started it last year because of all the diversity we had in the state. Mm -hmm. We never really had a contest that would do these things. So you can, if you're African or if you're Mediterranean or North American, which we're doing today with the Southwest, Asian, anybody that has an appetizer or an entree or a dessert, please and come and enter it. It's free. Everyone yeah, keeps asking me that. It's you enter free. it free. That's great. You come to the day. 18th is the International Contest Day. Okay. And guacamole is covered under that, right? It is. It's one yes. of the appetizers for Southwest cooking. And I like what's going on over yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a fun gadget. I have isn't tasted it? guacamole ever since I've lived here, uh -huh. and Jane's is the best, so you have to be sure to, to be sure to try this. So, Jane, you are one of the sponsors yes, of this I contest. Yes, I am the right? sponsor. The sponsor. Yes. Okay. So, tell me, why did you decide to sponsor? Well, I believe in international cuisine, mm -hmm. and actually, uh, our country is a melting pot of all different That's kinds, true, yeah. <laughs> all different kinds of cooking, which came along with all the different settlers and whatever. And um, Don asked me to do the guacamole. And you <laughs> said, "Why yeah. not?" Oh yeah, why not? Well, I was so, trying to think what would we be go. good to show on on this. Mm -hmm. But and what she's Donna, doing, we what? love you for that because yes. who doesn't <laughs> like guacamole, right? But, yes, but what? Tell me what you know. Whoever gets just first place gets a free class. From Jane. Straight from Jane? Yes. That's great. Okay, so tell me about all the ingredients you have here. Okay, somebody well, wants to try this at home. Well, I've pre prepped everything. We have chopped Spanish onion, uh, chopped um, tomato, minced jalapeno, minced garlic, salt, fresh lime juice, and fresh cilantro. Okay. And, and in order to cut an avocado, the easiest way to cut it is to wrap the avocado around the knife rather okay. than, and that way you can get an even cut. And it's always a surprise whether it's going to be good or not. <laughs> it's good. That looks good. Yeah, I like that. So you want to do the honors here, and I'll just pop out the seed. I'm a legendary avocado slicer. So where do you get this cool gadget from? Well, actually, you can buy it at gadget stores. We used to sell them all the time, but now okay. they're pretty widely available. And okay. I think you can buy them online, too. And this makes uh, slicing yeah. it up pretty easy, right? Yes. Actually, if you don't, um, <laughs> well, if you don't so have we a, think. a, a, <laughs> <laughs> a bit. I'm a learner, okay? <laughs> but if you don't have that gadget, you can do this just with a spoon, like that. That's good. Okay. How many avocados do you usually put in there? Usually two. Okay. I just brought a third one in case one of them wasn't so pretty. Okay. Or in case you want to feed more of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could. Uh, and then what we do, instead of mashing it, you cut it into like squares, like you're okay. cutting baby food. Do you want to do a little bit yeah. of this? Okay. And this is the secret, by the way, is what she's doing. And Rather why, than mashing it with a fork. Yes. Well, if you mash an avocado, you bring out a bitterness and, a, and, a, and it makes it oxidize. You oh, know, really? start turning brown. And this way, it has just a much fresher taste. Wait and see. Okay. Be gentle, oh, you Kristen. Did a, good. We don't you did a good job. Okay. You're wonderful. <laughs> Here we go. So now we'll just add some onion. And you know, it's it's almost impossible to write uh, the perfect recipe. All mm -hmm. the editors always want me to do that. But each avocado varies, and of course, the season uh, seasonality makes for different flavors within the avocado. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, add what I think seems like the right amount. This is a chopped tomato. We're just eyeing things and today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already taste, tasted this jalapeno. It's not very hot. <laughs> by the way, you can judge a jalapeno. By, uh, you can pretty much be accurate in, in uh, determining the heat ahead of time. The more pointed the tip, the deeper the color, and the more pointed the shoulders or sloping the shoulders, the hotter it will be. Oh, so good this to know. Will good be, to know. This Noted will be there. a hotter one than this one. <laughs> and while you guys wrap this up, uh, Donna, tell me again, where can people enter their dishes? They can enter it at the Creative Arts Building, which is the Home Arts, which we're in, at the State Fair on the 18th. Okay. And from 9 to 12, just come on in. And uh, we have a lot of people that will enter things. And Think it's about, free. Right? And, it's, and free. it's free. Yes, and we just we had a Hungarian bread that won last year. Oh, wow. And le yesterday you had the pinion pie that won the Southwest uh -huh. Best of Show that was able to go to Jane's class. 
And so we have wonderful things there. So think of what people can salon. enter salon. in different you know, uh, countries and all, and Absolutely. we're ready for you. Absolutely. Sounds great. Okay, so you're going to whip this up. Kristen's going to take a little taste test before we go to break. I'll let you we're, know. We're almost out of time. So <laughs> you don't ever mince. Our, before our we head to break, <laughs> remember, we're going to have a recap of this entire mm -hmm. interview, and you'll be able to get Jane's secrets and do try it at home. Um, our website, careq.com, will have a recap there for you. Kristen, there take you a go. taste test before okay. we go to break. Well, now I'm all nervous. <laughs> I think you got a little, just I don't know whether you got much. Oh, is it good? <laughs> Will you get a thumbs up? Leave me here. We'll I'm be right back. For the show. It is. That's great.